We are by the Hewan River here and I've got my Diamond crew with me. We just rode our motorcycles down here. So we're calling ourselves the Diamond Revies. <laughs> and we're gonna do our stretches here by the river. So we're gonna get warmed up guys. So we're gonna roll out our hips. We're gonna roll them out. That's it. Let out all those, anything, anything that's tight, just relax, breathe it out. Then the other way. Strange about music, what can you just sing? <laughs> All right, we'll do a little dip through. So I know that the ground's a little uneven here, so it'll be a little bit of a challenge. Um, so we're going to dip down and come up, pulling your hips up towards your ribs, other way. Dip, hip, dip, hip, dip, hip, dip, hip. Here comes a car. <laughs> Don't get any closer. Hip, dip, hip. Excellent. We're going to squat down now. We're going to go into a bit of a lunge. We're going to turn our knee out 45 degrees. Keep our heel on the floor. We're going to lower down, sticking our bums back, keeping our heels on the floor. Our straight leg knee facing the Usually I'd say ceiling. The sky. <laughs> the the sky. beautiful sky. And we're going to push to the other side. You can stay up here if you might get so low. You don't want to push it. You just want to relax into it. And just let your body go where it will go today. It's a different day today. Couple more. Awesome. Then we're going to go up into the triangle of our legs, hands on the ground or as close to as you can, and head looking back between our legs. You can creep through as much as you like, um, but don't push through the stretch. Feel it, let go of the muscles and just see where you can relax to. And then we're going to reach to our opposite, our left ankle with our right hand. Look up and over, reach over your back, other side, and switch, and switch, and switch. Hands on the floor, let's drop our booties into a squat, open the knees out, use our glutes to pull those knees outward. Tip forward, straighten the legs again. Squat it back. See that sun's intense. Have oh, you yeah. sun? Have you sun in the quiet? Intense. So I'm being sun smart and wearing hats. <laughs> All right. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get down into a straddle stick. So you, you can get down anywhere. Usually I'll slide out, but if you're on a, <laughs> a grassy patch, it might not be possible. All right. Make sure you're not feeling any like stretching behind your legs, guys, in and behind your knees or in your knees. Um, if that's so, bring your heels a bit closer in the front or bend them a little bit. We want to feel this in the body of our muscle. Okay, we're going to rock side to side, rock it out, just reaching and relaxing. Doesn't matter how far you go, as long as you just feel slight stretching, letting those muscles go, they're getting nice and warm. Then we're going to bring an arm under. Aim for your elbow, then shoulder, or even if your hand just gets there, that's fine. Look up and reach over your ear, other side. Over your ear, looking up at the sky. Down. One more. Good. Keep out that deep shake. Shake it out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, we might start with a butterfly pose today. We'll put our heels together. I'm going to hold each of our poses. This is a static stretch, so this will be like a basic stretch class. We're not going into um, lots of different styles like piano stretching. We're just going to stick mainly to our static stretches with this short video. So we'll pull our knees down using our glutes and try and straighten your back. If you can't reach your toes, just go as close to you as you can. Straighten your back. Think nice and tall. Take a big deep breath in. And as you breathe out, just relax those muscles so you feel relaxed all the way. Again, deep breath in. And out. One more time, guys. Deep breath in. One of the things you notice if you've been away from Tassie and you come back is you can smell the, the blue gum. <laughs> like, you actually, even if you're riding a motorcycle, you smell it. Oh. Oh, such a Tassie 
smell. It's one of those smells that you just don't pick up on unless you're smelling for it. That's it, Maggie. Say looking for it. That's right. <laughs> Maggie's coat for the day. That's great. All right, let's go back out into a straddle position. And we're going to try and do a pancake stretch. So a pancake stretch, the idea of this one is to get flat to pancake. We don't want to push, especially adult muscles. We don't want to push someone down. We want to relax the muscles out to where they can go. Breathe, chill out muscles, and then let, let them go a bit further and a bit further. Uh, but don't push through it because you might tear things and that will send you backwards. So we're going to keep our backs nice and straight. We're going to tip the points of our hips forward. So we want to keep our back and our tailbone all nicely together and our neck and we're going to fold forward. So tipping, 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 not hunching. So that's when we're going to stretch our backs and what we're trying to do is rotate our hips forward and you'll feel it through your groin muscles. So roll forward, roll forward. You might just find that sitting up straight is where you're at. That's fine. If that's where you're at, then you sit there, take a deep breath, try and relax. If you're further forward, we're going to take a deep breath. Go to where you feel it. And then big deep breath in. And out. And really completely let go of those muscles, guys, because they're probably going, no! And you're just going to go, chill out. It's fine. And again, deep breath in. And out. One more time. Deep breath in. And out. Pancakes. Yeah, I'm not a pancake. <laughs> yeah, slightly I'm lumpy pan pancake. It'll get flatter. <laughs> Don't, worry. Don't worry, you can rock that out. Here we go, we can throw some tips that I just found out about the Huon River. Yes. It's the fifth longest river in Tasmania. It's 174 kilometres. Look at that. Damn. Whoa. All right, shake that one out. We're going to reset it. So, legs back out. Maybe you can go a bit further. You can lift your booty off the ground and wriggle forward. <laughs> wriggle forward. Just remember if there's any pain, stop. Don't go to where there's pain. And if there is, you need to seek <laughs> medical advice. What's going on? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to tuck one side in. So let's tuck our right side in. And we're going to turn our torso over the straight leg. The same thing here, we don't want to hunch and round our back. You want to keep yourself nice and tall and fold, even if that means your head doesn't get anywhere as close to your legs, but that will give you a better stretch. It's not about, I'm going to take the ego out of it, it's not like, oh, I can't still my legs. Like, we want a good stretch, so nice straight back, walk your hands forward, think about reaching to the top of your toes, back. But you're kidding, so you don't eat it, and then you're just like, oh, I'm going to turn it. Yeah, that's it. I only know, I always know it's there. I will never forget the job. Deep breaths, guys. Big deep breath in. And out. And try and flatten and reach. And again, deep breath in. open out and that might mean you have to let go can you see that like I got to here and then I have to open out I'll get a better stretch if I let go again get rid of that ego <laughs> you don't have to hold on and look super flexy we're trying to get a really good stretch pull down that outer side and under this leg you will tend to where your tightest have a big deep breath where are you guys feeling it 
Yeah, mm, yeah, lower back, your obliques, every like. There's so much stretching in this one. I really love. Now here's a little thing where you can feel better ego-wise and then get lower. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this foot out, grab hold of it, and you should be able to go a bit further to release that here. Good. And then let's bring it back in. Come up. That's usually where I get really sleepy after three months. Glorious. Let's, what's another fact we know about the Huon Valley? The Tasmanians are apple isle and the Huon Valley is renowned for apples. Apples and apple yes. cider. With, is it Willie Smith? Yeah, Willie Smith. Cider. So there's like boutique ciders and wineries and lots of apple farming. Yeah. <laughs> apples, apples. Apples. And they're really good if you get them fresh, not yes, like they are. frozen in the supermarket for Yongs and yeah. get, get fresh ones. Go to market. It's like the market's down here. Um, yeah, beautiful apples. All right, bold board. And there's salmon, you want salmon? What else is there? Um, there's good cheese down there too. We've got oh, all yes. the good foods. Actually, I went to, um, uh, when I was in America, I went to California and I was in a restaurant and they're like, we've got salmon all the way from Tasmania. And I'm like, oh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> we get to have it all the time. <laughs> Spoiled. We're just lucky. We are lucky. We've got really good food here. Mm. It's, yeah, all the local produce is amazing. All right, another big deep breath, guys. Hopefully we don't. <laughs> and relax for a moment. Trying to flatten your spine. So you might find that you start to round, push your tummy down, look forward, keep your neck in mind of your spine. One more deep breath. And let it all out. All right, let's flex that foot. I want to creep through the gap, so backhand through the gap. Remember you want to try and get as low as where you are comfortable. Come in underneath and you will eventually, unless you're really flexible or stretched out, but you'll have to let go and look up, reach over your ear. Oh, it's so good. You should feel that all down the outside. Such a good stretch. A few deep breaths there. Consciously let go of those tight muscles. They will try and tense up. Another big deep breath. There's music festivals down here, isn't there? Isn't yeah. There? Oh, really? Oh my gosh. And how good is it when the weather's like this? So excellent. All right, come up out of that one. Oh yeah, guys. Where's that bird coming from? Look at that. Do you know what? It sounds like a bird with a screen door. Really? <laughs> That's um, the uh, local Tasmanian screen door. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> very native in this area. Native in this area. <laughs> we're going back into our butterfly and just wriggle that out. <laughs> and then we're going to go back into our straddle and we're going to try our pancake again. And hopefully your muscles, because it's not just your groin muscles here. If you release the muscles in your back and your obliques, you'll find that you'll be able to relax a bit further. So deep breath in. You can even have your arms up. Big, deep breath. Nice and straight and and then fall forward. Relax, relax, relax. <sighs> Let those muscles go. I bet those muscles in your legs are going nuts. You can let them go. Let them go. Let it go. No, don't do that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. <laughs> stop it, stop. <laughs> <laughs> and then up again. Nice. All right, I'm just going to do glute stretch now. For all those tight asses. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to make a right angle with our knee joint here and then what we're going to do is we're going to turn our hips over so they're square facing straight out to the side over this leg what you'll find you're not going most people can't keep their leg out in, the, in a right angle it depends on your flexibility i know me i'm not as flexible in this stretch um so you will see as i roll over that's as far as i can go out i feel the stretch there that's where i'm at today sometimes better sometimes not Alright, and we're going to keep our backs flat so you can fold forward. If you feel it a lot here, just stay there and just relax until those muscles just go. It takes 30 seconds for them to start there. But if you don't feel it, you may need to bring this out further. You may need to come down lower. You can also increase it by bringing your arms, uh, opposite arm through and bringing your shoulders to the back. It took me a long time to get 
when you lift your legs up to, out to the side, they're the ones that are working. So, um, there's a few things to do. Uh, you breathe them out. Sometimes it takes a few stretch sessions to, to your body, for your body to start to relax. It's just funny, some ways are very flexible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everyone's different and day to day can be different. Let's get the other side. Yeah, so we should have bought um, yoga mats. 
in the back of Savile Bike. <laughs> um, we're going to go into a hip flexor stretch now, isolated hip flexor stretch. So we're going into a lunge, and this is the side we're going to stretch. We're going to curl our hips up to our ribs. Really important that you keep that position. So we're tucking that booty away. We're not trying to be sexy with it. We're trying to be the least sexy with your booty and tuck it right under. <laughs> and then use your front foot to pull forward, not down. This isn't, this is a different stretch to the one where we lunge down and try and get our side in the ground. We're staying up, so we're pulling forward. And you'll start to feel the stretch here. So you can help keep yourself square by bringing this same hand as the back leg across onto the opposite leg. And you take this hand um, on the back of your hip bones and make sure that your bum is tucked under. And you should feel that stretch up through your hips there. You might feel like it's the top of your thigh. You can stretch it through the neck there, so you might feel it right way through. Deep breath and let it go. Let it go, let it go. Okay. Let it go, ladies. And everyone else, everyone <laughs> that might watch this video, stay them, stay them. Um, yes, that's all I got. <laughs> stay them, PC, whatever. Uh, everyone. D, E, Z. Yeah, I haven't be. met. Somebody. I haven't met anyone that. Yeah. But um, I think it's a possibility. Yeah, at one point. I've been surprised with that. Yeah. Okay. So let's let that go. You should feel like that. Now let's go to the other side. Tummy down first, 
in that new bag. Fill the stretch. Then we're going to grab our toes or as close to as we can. And we're going to flex our feet and push through our heels. So we're keeping those knees pressed into the ground. Knee to hips, I should say. And deep breath in. And push the toes forward. And lengthen your spine. And again, up. Deep breath in. And push. Up, deep breath in. And push. Good work, guys. All right, let's see how we are with our split poses. George is falling asleep over there, so this is great. She's relaxed. It's not just about stretching, it's actually really good for your body for relaxing, relieving tension, great stress, anxiety, depression, all of that. So let's try a split pose. A bit hard on this ground, but um, you can go into it from a lunge. It is kind of good if you can hold on to something to get your body up, but if you really need to lean forward, do that. Um, it's good to keep your body weight over your hips though, to get an even stretch through your back. Where you feel it you might actually just be in a lunge quite far from the floor and that's fine that's fine it's not a fast thing you see these videos and you're like hey just split for five minutes that's yeah. if you're already stretchy enough yeah. and flexible enough and then you do a stretch session and then you get down but if you're not flexible enough to do the splits you're not going to get them in five minutes it's going to probably take I'm sorry, five months. More, more than that. Aim for like a centimetre a month. That's <laughs> generally it for adults, I find. All right, let's do the other side. Turn it over and lower to the knee. Feel the stretch. Just relax it there. You've already stretched everything. What's that on my side? Where are your bike boots? I don't want your toes in those. <laughs> if anyone comes and runs over our feet, we'll be <laughs> but we actually already did that by bringing our hips forward. That's one way to do it. You can also tip forward. So roll yourself over or lower down into this position. And my knees are facing forward, like the top of my head. <laughs> you can even, once you feel comfortable, you can hips allow, you can turn from one to the other. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> How did everyone? <laughs> We're all yes, crafty. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, Diamond. Of course. <laughs> got Maddie, Jay, Georgia. Yay. Yay. Now we're going to get on our bikes and ride home through the Huon, the Huon Valley. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Yay. I really hope that video.